Hey guys, Anashi here. Today is a special one. I have a box, a very heavy box, from Japan today. Uh, so about this box, there's a website called Syndico, and um, it's a Japanese site that crawls a whole bunch of other like Yahoo auctions, because that's their eBay out there, McCary, Japan's McCary, um, Amazon. And what they do is you make your order, you put your money with them, you make an order, it proxies through, buys whatever you wanna buy from their auction, and then sends it to their warehouse, and then they will store the stuff until you fill out, you know, like, okay, I want all these in one package, and then they give you an estimate on shipping, you pay for shipping, and they send it to you, and they box it up and send it. This is 11 different purchases, I think. Mine been nine somewhere around there. It's a whole bunch of different purchases they just boxed up and put into here, sent it over. Um, I did FedEx shipping and I put the order in on uh, Tuesday, that's before Memorial Day. I said, okay, yeah, go ahead and ship it because I was gonna be gone till Tuesday. I'm like, okay, me, I got some time. They said an estimated date of, but they delivered on Wednesday. It was here Friday and I wasn't even in town. So I had a good friend who picked the package for me and uh, yeah, that was extremely fast. So I am pretty happy with this and let's get into it. That was very satisfying. They really packaged as well. There's tape all around this. And be careful not to cut anything inside. work. They put a nice piece of box paper right there. And oh my. There we go. It is solid. Very, very solid. So things that I was looking for in this was I was looking for some soundtracks, um, Super Nintendo or Super Famicom, uh, some consoles, a few different consoles and stuff like that, and some Dragon Quest stuff. So let's uh, open up a can of Monster and see what's in here. Uh, so first thing we have is Final Fantasy VI Grand Finale. This does not have the cover art. When I made the, it's really hard because they do. You have to use Google Translate to translate. You know their sites, the uh, the auction sites and stuff like that. Because well, they Syndico doesn't do that, and so um, yeah. So you have to be, be fire beware. So this one didn't have it. Um, Kind of sad about that, but not a big deal. This is supposed to be authentic. First thing on top. Uh, then we got uh, Super uh, Super Street Fighter 2 on the Super Famicom. I can't tell you what order these things are from. Uh, is a Dragon Ball Z game, Super Famicom? Because there was a couple different sets of This is uh, Dragon Quest uh, IV Symphony Suites. I'm, you know me, I'm me and my Dragon Quest. This is, this is used, it's not factory sealed, you know, packaging at all. So let's crack this open and see what's in here. Paper, some stickers. Oh, okay. And then the soundtrack in there. Oh my. Got one disc plus manual. Two disc. 
Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh. You want know to have a problem with they don't really have a CD player? I have one in my car. My computers don't have them. I haven't had one in my computer forever. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rip that to digital somehow. Uh, we got. I don't know what this is. Fully cow led mini four wheel drive series shining scorpion. Oh, manga. No. This is a strategy guide for a game. I don't know. Ah, Super Nintendo AV cable. Mini Jack to Mini Jack. Oh, I've actually never owned one of these before. I do have a mini version, but a real one? No. I finally have myself a super, you know, a regular Famicom with their fabled short cords that are connected directly to the system. Look at that. Very dirty. That's okay. Myself a Famicom. Uh, another cable. This is another Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, AV cable. Oh, and this is also a first. I have a Super Famicom. Nice and yellowed. We got some Dragon Quest VI, Secret of Mana 2, or, well, not Secret of Mana, it's, that's what it is. Final Fantasy VI, my favorite. That. Some regular Famicom games, we got Dragon Dragon uh, Quest 2, Ice Climbers, something, spiky racing wheels. I don't know if you could hear that. That is some really wicked wind. And now thunder. A couple of Famicom controllers, one really yellowed, one not so much. Legit though. All right, or Famicom. We got the game of Super. That thing. Don't know. Yeah, no clue. Fire Pro, Super Fire Pro Wrestling 2, which is a good, those are good arcade wrestling games. Another Final Fantasy 6. Don't know. And Super Mario Kart. Alright. I'm actually starting to build up a little bit of a Famicom collection, Super Famicom. I got that one console, no, that was uh, Nintendo 64. I'm getting a Japanese collection going. Just happens that way. Saving those for a minute. Power brick for a another Super Famicom that looks yellowed. Not gonna bother pulling that one out, but apparently I got two of those. Oh yeah, game bundles. So one game bundle had one, and then I found a game. So I found a bundle. It had a Super Famicom, some games, which I wanted a Super Famicom games. Then I found another one that had a regular Famicom in games and a Super Famicom games. So I bought them both. 
because they were like literally each that that one massive one with the two consoles was like 50 or 60 bucks and then the other one was like 30 bucks so some paperwork uh super famicom and famicom paperwork another power brick oh yeah another super famicom controller I have some Dragon Quest earmuffs. These were supposed to be slime earmuffs. Uh, headphones, not earmuffs, but they look like earmuffs. Okay, interesting. Uh, this is the regular Famicom Power Brick. Another Super Famicom controller. All right, what do we got here? We got, <laughs> uh, I forgot some of the stuff that I bought. I started buying this stuff like uh, three or four months ago and I finally just had it shipped. This is a metal slime water container. Could be a monster container. I'm gonna go through the Dragon Quest stuff I have here. Oh, maybe what's this? Another Super Famicom controller that makes five. We have a. Super Famicom racing game of some sort. I don't know. You know, like sometimes if you look on one side to the other side, it'll tell you in English on one and yeah, like they do with uh, the PlayStation games, but nope, not on that. Any other little surprises? Okay. I got a few slime things. My first, my, my very main reason I went in there is like I wanted to find some slime stuff and um, some Dragon Quest stuff that, you know, they're so expensive in the United States, but they're super cheap there. So this is a slime speaker dock. Not much of a dock, you just set your phone in here. Imagine this was my phone, you just set it in there Put your, your plug in there, which I don't have a port for it. And then there is a speaker built into this. Not quite what I imagined, but okay. Hmm. It is power by battery only. Not very practical. Huh. Okay, well... I mean, it's going to make a nice stand, regardless. I'll, I'll probably put uh, maybe my Dragon Quest uh, DS in here. And then we got... Another pair of... She slime headphones. No, I'm not gonna wear these. It was like metal slime, the green slime, heel slime, she slime, and regular slime. I got these ones. Maybe I might get the others. That's cool. Oh, okay. 
and we got a another slime. This is another slime speaker, but this is for your DS that you can mount your DS into it. Um, hold on. Oh, it's coming down out there. Oh, it is. It is actually filled with, it's like, uh, kind of fills like silicon. You know, a little headphone jack here for it. Uh, and you could put your... Oh, there's another piece in here. And this is the mount. There it goes. And now you could mount your, your regular DS in this and hook up the uh, mini jack to it and it's a speaker it is also they like their batteries <laughs> oh that's pretty cool I'm going to have to figure out how to put this all back together in that box I'll leave you right here you hold Famicom. No, that's not right. You hold Dragon Quest 2. Boom. Alright, so these ones are... The rest, everything else is soundtracks. Because if you ever look for original soundtracks, they are so expensive. We got the Symphonic Suite of Final Fantasy. I believe that this is the first one. You got Final Fantasy Prey. Don't know. This is a good one. Man, they they did a pretty good number on these. Uh, like, I, I got no... There's nothing for me to, like, grab onto to rip it. Gotta be very careful, because this is very, very thin bubble wrap. It's like bubble wrap that if everything popped in here. And this is the Final Fantasy VII original soundtrack. How cool is that? And then we got another thing of soundtracks here. Not so tightly bundled. And what we got here is Final Fantasy Love Will Grow. I don't know what's on these at all. Um, Final Fantasy V original sound version disc two. Final Fantasy nineteen eighty seven through nineteen ninety four. It is like it's white, but it looks embossed. Yeah, 1987 through 1994. Got some music from there. Doesn't have any sound selection, just embossed on the back that says Squaresoft, so I'm not sure what's on here. This would probably tell me, though. Yeah, it is embossed. Oh, if you get some. Yeah, scene three, Roaming Sheep, Theme of Love. 
something something welcome to our town something the breeze uh trurion beauty something something area de mezzo Terry Rydia scene seven something 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 piano version of course all in japanese can't understand it but i will get these things i'll figure out how to get them all ripped and so i can actually listen to them digitally but um I, that's it in my package from japan uh, pretty excited. I've actually learned a lot from this. Uh, I'm probably not going to make big bulk things because this box was very expensive, but it got here very fast. There was a, I think it was $120 to ship it. Now there was a cheaper option of like $80, so like $40 cheaper, but then you won't get it for three months because it's going to send it over in a tanker, um, cargo ship. And I'd rather just spend the 40 bucks and get it a little bit sooner, though it did get here very fast. So I mean, I, I'll keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, it just all depends on the weight and size. The size and the weight was a lot, you know, being two consoles, a whole bunch of games and stuff in here. So I will probably keep things a lot lighter uh, because it does get cheaper a lot lighter. All right. Well, uh, the, the video has been long enough. Uh, thank you for guys. Thank you guys for watching. You guys take care.